The free market can be a competitive place, where some products claim victory over others. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 products that killed competitors. And the PlayStation 2 pushed its way to becoming the best-selling console of all time. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the products that overcame their rivals, either by taking over an established brand or by edging out a product from the same era. Whether from a more recent conflict or one that played out decades before, these are the surviving products that withstood the odds. Just to be clear, the product that was defeated does not necessarily have to be dead and gone, just overtaken. At its peak, Blockbuster had 8,000 stores worldwide. They get a blockbuster night. Now the few remaining locations will soon be holding going out of business sales. Number 10. Gmail killed Hotmail. With the dust settled, Google's electronic mail service stands tall. When was the last time using your email got you free stuff? Yet this was not always the case. Its competitor Hotmail, established in 1996 as one of the world's first webmail providers, had a foothold for quite some time. I just log on, check my messages, and find out where I need to be next. Oh, a wedding. Sporting integration with Microsoft-owned programs and being free to use, Hotmail certainly stood out. Until April 1st, 2004, when Google Inc. launched their simply titled Gmail service. With its more flexible interface, greater amount of storage space, and general polish, Gmail rose in popularity and left Hotmail to be slowly phased out. Microsoft has finally decided to shutter Hotmail for good, migrating all former users to its newly unveiled Outlook.com. Number 9. Dell killed Gateway. Well, your computer quandary is easily solved by the folks at Dell. Just call or go online. They'll help you figure it out. The world of computer technology can definitely be a heated one. Treat yourself to a Dell Inspiron laptop with intelligent Intel processors. Dell, yours is here. Such was the case with the conflict between Dell and Gateway, two companies competing for the computer hardware market in the late 90s and early 2000s. With a Gateway Essential PC, you know exactly what you're getting. Monitor great software, award-winning tech support, and free internet access. While Gateway buckled under the effects of the dot-com bust, Dell thrived with its embrace of direct sales and customizing one's PC to fit the consumer's intent. Struggling to compete, Gateway scaled back its operations further and further. It's at once sad and fascinating. Dell and Intel encourage you to do what you love and share it with the world. Number eight. Transformers killed GoBots. The GoBot Command Center, Leader One and Comptour each sold separately. Sometimes success can be a fleeting thing. Take for instance the GoBots line of transforming toy robots, introduced in 1983 by Tonka, the year before Hasbro launched the Transformers brand of toys. The Transformers for the C -E -E -I -I. Despite being similar in design and themes, the Transformers proved to be the more enduring toy line while sales dropped for the GoBots after initial success. GoBots! Tonks, Zero, Flip Top, and New Leader One each sold separately. In the end, Tonka ceased production in 1987, four years before Hasbro would buy the GoBots brand altogether, integrating them into the Transformers franchise. It is time to stand with us and prove there is more to you than meets the eye. Number seven, Internet Explorer killed Netscape. Bill's you know, message to the company was let's go find lots of ways uh, for us to, to now engage in this new battle. There was nothing quite like the browser wars of yore. In the 1990s, the world saw an influx of internet browsers, with two of the most competitive being Microsoft's Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator. My Netscape has unlimited internet access and free web accelerator for just $9.95 a month. You know, Net Zero charges you every time you call for tech support. For several years, Netscape and Microsoft updated their respective browsers at a breakneck pace. Though Microsoft's greater resources and decision to make Internet Explorer free for Windows users eventually gave them the victory. We're like a deer in the headlights with Microsoft in front of us, so, you know, what do we do? What do we do? You know, they're going to crush us, they're going to crush us. Though Netscape's browser code still lives on through Mozilla Firefox, it's clear that Internet Explorer won its place in history. Number 6. 
the smartphone camera killed the digital camera. A picture can be whatever you want it to be. Because now, Kodak gives you the power to take pictures further. Cameras have always had their place but the technology has seen its share of conflict. With a 23 megapixel camera, I can catch all of them, special or everyday moments, no matter the light condition. With the advent of the smartphone, people have taken to its plethora of features, including cameras with increasing quality of images. Thus, the digital camera has been overcome. In spite of being known for high quality photography, it's said that from 2012 to 2013, smartphone sales rose to over 1 billion while digital camera shipments fell by around 30%. It would seem the market has spoken. Every day, more photos are taken with the iPhone than any other camera. Number five, IBM killed Commodore. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Coming back to computers, there was a time when Commodore stood tall. From its establishment in 1954, Commodore International made a name for itself in the production of home computers from the Commodore PET to the Commodore 64. We asked the computers which one was better on the basis of price and memory. The Apple II preferred the Commodore 64. Then we asked the IBM and it picked the Commodore 64. Unfortunately, its rival company IBM made strides in developing computing technology further than ever before. While Commodore was increasingly seen in the 1980s, as the producers of cheap and disposable hardware. This computer system is another example of innovation at IBM. In fact, it's the most advanced voice recognition system of its kind, period. IBM's constant evolution and rising profits, coupled with Commodore's existing troubles, may very well have led to the latter company's bankruptcy in 1994. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Four, Sony PlayStation 2 killed Sega Dreamcast. Ryan, you're going to get roofed. Shut up, quadruped. Sega Dreamcast. Sony and Sega, both innovators, both participants in the console wars. Sega's final home console would be the Dreamcast, built to cut costs and contrast its more expensive predecessor, the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. It's how you play the game. While the Dreamcast started out with a strong launch in America in the late 90s, the public's interest in the system soon faded, only to be replaced by a growing fixation with the then upcoming Sony PlayStation 2. Sony PlayStation 2 will be the biggest thing to come along since TV was invented. The buzz on this product is that strong. Sony's eventual embrace of third-party developers and general financial security contrasted Sega's financial losses and limited third-party support, leading the PS2 to succeed where the Dreamcast could not. <laughs> Dreamcast! Number three, Netflix killed Blockbuster. Blockbuster Video, wow, what a difference. Farewell, rental stores, your time has passed. Once upon a time, video rental chains such as Blockbuster cornered the market in terms of providing people with films, television, and other media. But get real. You'd rather be playing video games. You can rent them from Blockbuster. However, that all changed with the 1997 founding of Netflix, initially a video rental service that transitioned into media streaming. Sometimes you even think, I wonder if I could make it in prison. It is. I think you're in the wrong place. See, that's what got you in here in the first place. Attitude. The ease of viewing films and TV on Netflix, matched by a reasonable service fee, ensured the downfall of traditional rental outlets. I have Netflix account with such keywords, prison escape. I have seen every prison movie ever made. Including Blockbuster's liquidation as of 2014. In a few weeks, stores like this will simply be a memory of Americana. And for most folks, a very good memory. Number two, Facebook killed MySpace. You guys on MySpace or? Two social media services enter, one service leaves. Acquired by News Corporation in 2005, MySpace stood tall as the world's largest social networking site for three years, even briefly surpassing Google as the most visited site in America. Tom started MySpace just to get friends. I know it. 
So they say the more friends you have on MySpace, the less friends you have in, in real life. That all changed with the rising appeal of Facebook, which was based around fulfilling the desires and demands of users rather than sticking to a firm portal strategy. MySpace is just real busy with a lot of links, a lot of ads, and a little too much action going on. And when you navigate pages, you're also at the mercy of the user's personal layout, which can be painful. Contrasting with MySpace's owner-mandated planning, this looser approach served Facebook well. Their worldwide visitor count rose, while MySpace's user count steadily shrank. You hate bloggers, you mock Twitter, you don't even have a Facebook page. You're the one who doesn't exist. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. This should be fun. The Snuggie keeps you totally warm and gives you the freedom to use your hands. So now you can work the remote or read a book in total warmth and comfort. In fact, you'll find endless places to cover up this winter with the soft, fleecy warmth of the Slanket. Various theories persist about why Oreo won the cookie war, even though Hydrox was invented first. Most agree that the name wasn't tasty and that Oreo outspent them in advertising. Subscribe to Playboy and start enjoying life to its fullest. I like my spider tingle, I never miss a single Australian penthouse. Don't be a rabbit. Number one, the iPhone killed the Blackberry. Dun, 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 dun. Though the iPod's triumph over MP3 players is certainly notable, it's the iPhone success that draws our attention. For several years, BlackBerry's multi-purpose devices had a strong foothold in the market, particularly with their focus on email services. Yet when Apple's iPhone device came on the scene with its sleeker interface and higher quality of design, BlackBerry struggled to compete. The glory days of the trackball, of course, they are over. Its market value has plummeted from more than $85 billion to about $5.5 billion. While they did make efforts to challenge Apple, BlackBerry's share in the market fell while Apple rose to prominence. Truly, there can be only one. If it's not an iPhone, it's not an iPhone. Do you agree with our list? Facebook reigns victorious in another slobber knocker. What competition killing product interests you? For more productive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We have people to see, possibilities to pursue, and moments, big and small, to live.